Hi guys, welcome to my hair channel. My name is Natasha Camille, in case you're new. Today I'll be going through my full wash day routine that I've been doing lately using all these products from Keratin. A couple of my friends have tried their products and they really like them, especially the oils and the shampoo. So when they reached out to me, I was super excited to work with them just cause like I've heard a lot of great things already. I wanted to make sure I gave everything a full Bill Nye the Science Guy try before I shared my opinion on it. So I've done this routine about five times now. I use these products for a month and a half because I feel like you just can't give an accurate review on something like a hair product. How it does with your hair over time is probably like what matters most, if that makes sense. So all that being said, I'm gonna show you guys all the 10 products that I got off their website, how I apply them, and then which ones are my favorites, like which ones I feel like actually made a difference, especially in just a couple uses. So these are all the products I've got. I kept some of the boxes so I could like read the ingredients and stuff. Okay, first I'm gonna talk about my favorite thing that I got, which are these hair growth gummies. I got two bottles, so a two month supply. My biggest pet peeve is when stuff says it's a hair vitamin and it just says like 8,000% biotin and, and nothing else. There are just so many other vitamins and supplements that are beneficial to hair growth and just like overall body health in general. Um, so I just feel like why only take biotin if you're gonna have to take like vitamin A, C, D, E, P, E, N, D, E, N, T. But yeah, this has vitamins A, C, D3, E, B6, B12, biotin, B5, iodine, zinc, sodium. Is sodium good for your hair? <laughs> Anyways, this just has like a whole super long list of actual stuff that is good for your hair, for your skin, for your body. So these have been my favorite, honestly, especially because they're so easy to take because they taste good. Okay, now for my wash routine, I start off with the freshening mask. This is very thick and it's nourishing and it actually helps me detangle a little bit. So I put this in my hair before the shower. I always wet my hair first and then take a glob of hair mask and work one section at a time, really focusing on my ends before I seal the moisture in with oils. So I use the freshening mask and this nourishing oil. This is full of like 10 different oils mixed together, but they're really thick. So this is a little too thick to put on my scalp, but it's great for like a deep conditioner combo. To enhance the effects of any deep conditioner and really make sure your hair is soaking up all the good ingredients, I always like to use a heat cap just to like open up those hair cuticles, soak in all the good stuff from my deep conditioners. And then I actually also use this as a conditioner very often, like most of the time after I shampoo, I'll just do a deep conditioner or a hair mask just because my hair likes a lot of like oils and butters um, and the lightweight conditioners just don't really do it for me. So this is a great hair mask before the shampoo and then also just regular conditioner. Next up after my hair mask is shampoo and conditioner. This shampoo was crazy. It felt like a clarifying shampoo. If you guys have ever tried a clarifying shampoo, it just is supposed to like remove all the heavy, crazy oils, all the silicones, all the buildup on your hair and really give you a fresh start for the week. So. I feel like this shampoo did that for me, but that being said, usually shampoos that do that are not very moisturizing. This was not one of those. This is definitely not like a detangling or an oily shampoo. One thing I was worried about when I used this was that it was very liquidy. Sometimes when stuff is liquidy, it's like hard to spread or it doesn't lather very well. But that wasn't the case with this one. I would describe this as very concentrated, so a little goes a long way. And one thing I do make sure to do when I use this is like lather it up in my hands first, emulsify it before I start spreading it through my scalp. So that just helps me not overdo it with the product. Okay, next up is conditioner. I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. It was just a little too lightweight for me, especially considering how good of a clean the shampoo gave me. But honestly, that is like my typical reaction to all hair lines. I really don't like any conditioners unless they're super, super thick and oily. Most of the time I usually just stick with a very cleansing shampoo and a deep moisturizing mask to put those oils back into my hair. But on the bright side, the hair mask did that for me. Like the hair mask was the perfect conditioner. Okay, so I also got this pink clay scalp scrub, which is sort of like an alternative to the shampoo. So this can be used as a co-wash, just kind of alone, or you can add it to your shampoo to give it an even better clean. I really like this one though. This was probably like the top three out of the stuff I tried. I personally use it every other wash, 
between the super squeaky clean sessions with the regular shampoo. This is great though because it helps me tend to my scalp and it has these little exfoliating beads. It feels like really minty and stimulating. So I think your scalp is definitely like the, the most important factor when it comes to making sure new hair growth is coming in nice and healthy and strong. Tending to my scalp has definitely been helping that. Okay, so these are my results using only curl cream and the gel. I think I put a little bit of oil in it too. Um, I think it looks pretty similar to my results from a curl cream, but one difference I, I noticed using gel, like my curls clump up a lot better, and I feel like that makes my hair appear healthier and like more done. Maybe like there's not as much frizz, I don't know. When my hair is in little clumps like that, I'm, it's usually a sign of a good hair day, so that's one of the biggest differences I noticed using the combination leave-in oil and gel versus just leave-in and curl cream, which I usually do. But that makes sense. I mean, gel gives you a little extra hold. But this one is nice. It's like it has oil mixed in it or something. I don't know, but it doesn't it doesn't leave my hair super crunchy. As you can see, it looks really like fluffy and soft and it doesn't feel dry at all, and it sort of like kept its shine throughout the week, so. But the main difference, again, the main benefit, I think, of using gel is it keeps the curls together, and then it also just helps me go longer without having to wash it and detangle it and all that stuff. So again, to actually style my hair, all I did was use leave-in conditioner and apply it all over, literally all over from roots to ends. This is a very lightweight leave-in, which I love because I can be heavy-handed with it without making my hair greasy. So I put the leave-in conditioner on the driest parts of my hair, like my edges, and just make sure that it's getting all the way to the roots. Then I follow up with the gel using the prayer hands method to glaze it on the ends and clump up the curls. And then lastly, I put growth oil drops on my scalp and let it air dry. And this is my typical wash and go routine that I use with all different product lines. I just usually go for a curly cream instead of a gel. Oh, I forgot to say, I also got a scalp scrubber. I use this with the, I think this is actually called a head massager or a scalp massager. Anyways, I use this with the scalp scrub and with the shampoo. It just makes it stimulate your scalp a little bit more and get like a really, really good deep clean. And lastly, Last but not least is oils. I got a lot of different oils. I got Precision Hair Growth Serum, Intensive Growth Drops, and the Nourishing Oil. The nourishing Oil is like, it seems to be a blend of really thick oils, so that one is great for the ends of my hair. It's good for a hot oil treatment. It's good for deep conditioning. I don't really put this directly on my scalp because it's a little too greasy, and it'll just like weigh my hair down. These are the Intensive Growth Drops, and these ones I really focus on my scalp. I put around 25 drops across my scalp right after I get out of the shower and then I go with styling and I kind of like don't notice it for the rest of the week. It seems like my hair really soaks it up quickly, so. And then the third is the Precision Hair Growth Serum. This is for localized hair issues, like if you, I don't know, have a bald spot or something. So I like to use it on my edges because that hair is very, very fragile, so I like to tend to it a little bit extra. And I feel like I'm always laying on it, like every single night I go to sleep on my edges probably, so. But yeah, this is a really good hair day for not washing my hair in five days. <laughs> I don't know, I'm considering making the switch to gel. This is kind of convincing me, instead of just like curl cream like I've been doing. Hi, sweetie. This is Lennox, by the way. I don't know if you guys have met him. I'm trying this thing where I include my pets in as many videos as possible because I don't take enough pictures of them when they're little. Hi, kitty. I want to remember how cute and little he was at this age. He's three months, which is technically three human years. So he's a little toddler, little. <laughs> But back to hair, these are the results of the full wash day and styling routine. I noticed I always have the best hair days after a hair mask and a lightweight product combo. I did let it air dry in a silk scarf to preserve my curls, and this is also how I sleep with it at night. Last thing I wanted to share were my top favorites out of this collection. These are just the products that I use most often and would buy again. Number one is the leave-in conditioner. I go through it pretty fast and it's the perfect consistency to where I can skip curl cream. So it makes my routine a lot easier and shorter. Next would be the hair mask and nourishing oil. These two were the perfect combo for my weekly deep conditioning routine. And they have the same oils that I typically use for my hot oil treatments. I also run through the mask really quickly because I use it as my conditioner. 
I definitely noticed my skin clearing up and nails growing faster when I first started using these vitamins and after about a month it finally started to show a difference in my hair thickness and manageability. Plus it's not often that you find a vitamin that tastes like a fruit snack so I like these. And I would also get the shampoo again. I was super impressed with how much product buildup it removed but a little goes a long way and I only use it twice a month so I doubt I'll need to re-up anytime soon. But I did get another scalp scrub because I don't have any right now and that's really important step. Again, this is the same routine slash order of products that I use every wash day regardless of the brand. But I did really enjoy testing these products out and I have links to everything for 15% off down in the description if you want to try something. Hopefully this was informative on keratin products but also curly hair health in general and thanks for watching another video of me play with my hair. Bye! Are you joining us? Little... Did you just sneeze on me? I definitely see a booger on my shirt.